In many ways, smaller is better. That's one of the reasons why my wife married me and one of the reasons why I am a big fan of small SSD cards with a punch. This one is a 20 gigabytes per second transfer rates for read and write speeds. And it's also small. So let's unbox it. Let's do a test on it and let's get excited about it. But right now I'm gonna throw it because it's so light. You guys fall for it every time. I already unboxed it. I shot that earlier. So let's get to it. Before we get over to the unboxing, I just wanna thank all of you for subscribing to this channel. You are growing this quicker than I even thought. I love cameras, I love technology, and I love people that love those things, and that's why I love you. So, I just wanted to say I appreciate you, I love your comments, I love to answer them. If you're a jerk, I delete them. And if you are super lucky and you're a jerk and you leave a comment below that's just horrible, sometimes I don't delete them. Sometimes I have a snarky reply and I call you out and I make you look like a fool. And if you're really super lucky, I once in a while have a video where I publicly call you out and ridicule you in front of a bunch of people. And if you're some of those people that love this channel and you don't disrespect me and you wanna see me go after those people, well then, hey, you should be subscribed because those videos should come at least once a month. I get a bunch of those comments where, boy, I could annihilate you. And I want to publicly, so maybe that is something I should do. But let's get to the point here, and that is unboxing this, doing a test with Blackmagic uh, app right there, and we are going to break it down if this SSD is worth it. Spoiler alert, it is, and I've got 30% off to share with you below too, but you might as well see what the, uh, the stats are on it. So let's get to it now. So this is the Orico. It is obviously the leading technology, right? Because they said so. Uh, Taiachi, yes, portable SSD. This is a two terabyte version right here. And again, these guys sent this to me for review. They did not give me any money, but they did give this to me to keep. So this is as unbiased as I can be. I have no attachment to this company at all. I do appreciate them sending this over to me because when it comes to quality SSDs, I am a big fan. Uh, this one is, look, there's a couple options. There's a 10 gigabit per second. This is the 20 gigabit per second. And so we're gonna be doing a test shortly here and it is two terabyte. And right now there is a huge discount. It is right there. That is the big discount going on right now if you use this link and code that's in the description below. So be sure to look below and you will get an awesome discount till I believe the 31st of October. So you better act on that. Ooh, this is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. That is very, very, very tiny. Honestly, I think it's like smaller than a credit card. There is a stick of gum right there. Think of a stick of gum, think of this. Here is my Costco card. So Costco card and this. My Costco card is actually bigger and it is very light. It is grippy too, so uh, you could probably do some kind of Velcro right here. And when I'm talking about Velcro, I mean real Velcro. I use these strips a lot of the times and this would actually fit right on that and then you can Velcro it onto stuff. So if you need it on the go, you wanna put it on your laptop, this thing is small. So we have USB-C, take that cap off to never go back on ever again. Same with this one. And it's one of those where you could do USB-C to USB-C, um, or you can do it to the regular size USB uh, to USB-C. But this cord, I believe, is a 3.2 transfer rate. So you have a USB-C to USB-A or C, and it is gonna be a 3.2 transfer. And it does claim, I would imagine because it's with this, it does claim that it is 20 gigabits per second. So you should be getting those speeds on there. And so we're gonna do a test right now, 
showing that off. Now this is the longest cord I have right now to reach here under the camera lens. So let's just plug this in. As you can see, there is the LED, it's blue indicator light right there to show that it's powered on, it is running. We're gonna do a test right now. We're gonna plug this into my MacBook M2 Max and use the Blackmagic speed test uh, on there to see how fast this solid state drive is. All right, this is the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test. I selected the solid state drive, so it's got the two terabytes, and it's gonna be testing the speed of the write and the speed of the read. And it's gonna be in uh, megabytes per second. I always get these backwards, but megabytes per second. Um, and it's gonna be rating that. So let's hit start and look at the write speed. It did peak up to about 1300 megabytes per second. And it looks like consistency about 927. Uh, and then the read speed is pretty close. And when it comes to the sound state drives, uh, they're usually kind of the same on both ends. The write and read speeds are usually identical. It's a, a very clean highway, you want to say, on both sides. 931 and 913, and that's megabytes per second. If you wanted to transfer it over to megabits per second, I believe it is 8 megabits per megabyte. So multiply eight by these numbers and that is the megabits, um, which is pretty much where we're rated. And if you're gonna be using this for any kind of video editing, which I am on the go, um, you are looking at what you're able to read off of this when directly connected into your MacBook um, or any other laptop. But for MacBook Pro um, M2 Max, I'm able to do uh, 12K, which I don't have a camera that shoots 12K, but I can write and read in 12K in Blackmagic RAW. In ProRes RAW, it, it doesn't. That's where it cuts off. Otherwise, the that's 60 frames per second. 24 or 8K60, none of this has a problem. And the 8K60 DCI, whether it's in ProRes or H.265 or Blackmagic RAW, um, that is perfect because I shoot with the Canon R5 Mark II, which is 8K RAW, and that would utilize this as well and function just fine. This is seriously one of the smallest SSDs. Actually, it is the smallest SSD that I've ever dealt with. I love the grip. I love how it is. And I am a fan of Velcro. I may even Velcro this to my laptop or, you know, to my camera on the side or mount it on a tripod. But this thing is going to be so easy on the go for traveling. It is going to replace some of my other alternatives that I've been using. And the fact that it's two terabytes and the speed is there and it's going to be able to handle 8K and even 8K raw with the Canon R5 II is going to be excellent with this. Now, the deal that I have posted below is only good until the 31st of October unless they decide to extend it but the 31st of October of 2024. I don't know when you're watching this. And maybe that deal is gonna be still there. And on Amazon, a lot of the times you just hit that little button for the coupon, it's 20%, but you hit that little button for 20% off. And then there's an additional 10% with the code below. So that is 30% off of this, which I think at this time of the video, $125 range that you're paying for two terabytes SSD on the go for your computer it rocks. Now, if you're a fan of docking stations, I'm going to be doing a review on a docking station later this week as well. And obviously the R5 II videos are going to keep coming. I keep discovering new things that I just love about that camera. And I do want to touch on some of the photography and since I am a hybrid shooter, I'm not just doing video. I'm not just doing photography. I do both and they just kill it. I would say the R5 II is the ultimate hybrid camera as of right now. It is a beast, it is an overkill for most, but it is much appreciated by me. Oh, and if you did find value out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. But meantime, some of you have not seen these videos. You know I stalk you, I use Google Analytics, I watch, I know what you're doing. You might as well just watch this and make me feel good about myself.